Sweetheart, I'm 37. I'm, I'm going to get some coffee and a dream of you. Bye. Oh, sweetheart, I can't not hear. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. No, Unidec hasn't called yet. Thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did Fritz not seem to have a little twinkle in his eye when he was talking to Erica? Did he? I don't know. She's pretty great looking. I wonder if old Fritz can still wave his wand. JC, uh, any word from you to that? No, not yet, but I'm sure I'll hear from him by this afternoon. Yeah, well, keep me posted, okay? <laughs> it's not funny. Do you think he heard me? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. He, he had to have heard me. He was right behind me. Well, maybe he thought you were talking about somebody else. Oh, I have such a big mouth. I know he heard me. If he mentions this to you, will you tell me? Yeah, I will. You promise? I promise. Promise. I promise. Today, we're going to share Mommy's office, all right? So, whoops. Uh, this will be your desk, okay? And here's... Your telephone. Hello? And here's your secretary. Oh, got me a bagel. Do I say get me? <gasps> okay, sweetheart. Mommy's got to do some work, okay? So I'm going to have to leave you alone in here for a minute, all right? And I don't want you to run around. I want you to be good and stay right here. Okay? Is mm she? -hmm. Keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Ken, do you have the... No, finish? no, no, Jason. You're not listening. He wants to tweet Armani single-breasted, all right? And send it. Now, look, I've got to go. I've got ten people in my office. Goodbye. Yes, may I help you? Yes, you may. You can start by telling me who you are. The name is O'Connor. Kevin O'Connor, Mr. Ehrenberg's assistant. May I ask who you are? The name's Wyatt, J.C. Wyatt, Mr. Ehrenberg's boss. Oh, Miss Wyatt, I've, I've heard so much about you. Well, finally, eye to eye with the tiger lady. Rawr. Please don't do that. Ah, J.C., I see you've met Kev, my new boy Friday. He's a real go-getter. Terrific. Why don't you go get me a cup of coffee, decaf, black? <laughs> Something you need? No, where's Meg today? Oh, Miss Whiteout, probably on the unemployment line. I'm Kevin O'Connor, Mr. Ehrenberg's new and improved assistant. Ah, oh, I'm Charlotte Elkman. I work for J.C. Wyatt. You do, perf. Now listen, she wanted a cup of coffee, decaf, black. She might enjoy this. And could you bring me a cup as well? Wait, slow down. She asked you to get her a cup of coffee, didn't she? I don't even know where the coffee room is. And plus, I'm rather busy. No. J.C. Yeah? I don't want to make you nervous or anything, but I was playing racquetball with my friend from McKinsey last night, and he told me Unidac's been talking to them, too. They've already taken two meetings with them. Relax. I've taken three. The account is ours. Believe me. Put a new filter in. Pour the coffee. Pop it back. Boom, you got a pot of coffee. So where did you work before here? My last position was with Bloomingdale's. Oh, in the business office. Oh, no. Men's department, third floor, designer suits. That's where I met Ken. I was the one who turned him on to suspenders. That was you. Fascinating. You obviously didn't do much typing at Bloomies. Well, no, but I'm essentially an idea man. You see, Mr. Ehrenberg wants to groom me. I figure I'll pay my dues here in the trenches for, I don't know, a few months maybe, and then I'm on to bigger things. In the meantime, the pay is good, and uh, I'll learn the ropes. Personnel, please. Jenny, hi, it's Charlotte. Quick question. New guy, Kevin O'Connor, how much is he making? <laughs> that sales clerk from Bloomingdale's is making $125 a week more than I am? <laughs> Hi, the new guy is making $125 a 